views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. This show's audio was via a Skype call. You are listening to Living Letter Radio. I'm Jason. And I'm Patricia with an ecosystem approach to your life. Tune in every Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio. Living Letter provides a revolutionary way to address what's truly holding you back. We have the tools you need to reach your goals and at the same time, be living lighter. Join us now for a living lighter experience. This is Living Lighter Radio, and I'm Patricia. I'm here with my husband, Jason. Today, we're going to talk about sex. We use an ecosystem approach to you, which is much different than what you are commonly taught. We see human beings as ecosystems that need to be uncovered instead of programmed. Human potential becomes infinite with our ecosystem approach. So, Jason, let's start with a story today. You know, this was really funny. We were talking to our um, primary care doctor, and we were complaining about this one um, drug chain and how we had switched over our our prescriptions to the, the local pharmacy. But there was a national story about this particular drug chain where um, the um, – uh, one of the um, um, pharmacist, yeah, the, the pharmacist um, had. Or I think it was one of the clerks had told this guy's wife there was some problem with his prescription about Vi- Viagra, <laughs> and and she was shocked because she didn't know he was taking Viagra. Obviously, he was using it with someone else, and and we were and not her, not her. And we were we were laughing about it with, <laughs> with the doctor. And the, so the doctor then kind of went into this um, alternate story, and he was telling us in the 17 years of practice, and this is, of course, anecdotal, but it's, it's really compelling. The 17 years of practice, he's never had both people, um, both people as part of a couple. Meaning Jason and myself. Well, yeah, we he wasn't talking about us, but he was saying that both people. You mean he wasn't? <laughs> <laughs> both people in a in a um, um, in a couple um, wanted to have Viagra at the same time. In other words, a wife would come to him privately and say, "Yeah, um, prescribe that for my husband," and the husband would come to him privately and say, "Hey, you know, um, don't prescribe that Viagra for me. You know, I don't want to. I don't have to have sex with her. You know, it's it's." Um, and he was telling us about this. And he was shocked that people don't want to have, um, you know, obviously he's the one that dispenses it or writes a prescription for it, but he doesn't see long-term committed couples having, wanting to have sex with each other. They might want to have sex with others, but not each other. Yes. You know, and we've had similar anecdotal experiences. You know, we had a, I remember we had a client one time who, um, a woman, you know, she was complaining that she, you know, her sex, her husband didn't want to have sex with her, but she was kind of a bully, and oh. and her idea of having sex was to yell at him and say, "How come you're not having sex with me?" Which, of course, you know, that, there's you, no romance in that. Yeah, just <laughs> note, to, <laughs> note to self, ladies, you know, if you want to have sex, um, um, trying to bully your husband to do it isn't a good way, and you know. And we could tell you all sorts of stories about how not to have romance in your relationship because we've heard them all over the, you know, over the years. So, Jason, why just, you know, why do people in long term relationships, we'll say it that way, why do they stop having sex? Well, you know, I love that question because here's what we what we see, what we this is based on our our ability to see energy. But as couples engage in life, there's a business part of having a long-term relationship and there's hurts and bitterness and resentments and anger that builds up, you know? Um, well, and then, and then in that, the conflicts are never resolved, correct? That we mostly see. Yes. Okay. And what happens is the, the feeling fades, but the energy doesn't. 
I think that's a great way of saying it. Okay, and, and, and I need you to, to define what energy doesn't, Jason? The energy of the conflict. Yeah. So, um, so in other words, if I can, yes. it gets in the way. The energy of conflict gets in the way of being able to communicate with your partner and therefore being able to or wanting to have sex with that partner. Our favorite example, and you've probably heard this before, you've been listening for a while, but it's my underwear on the floor. Now, huh. now when, when I drop my underwear on the floor, it's because I'm thinking about something else or I'm writing in my mind or, you know, I'm, I'm doing the, the, uh, the intellectual he's doing thing. The, he's doing the Jason thing. <laughs> but, but, and, and then when Patricia sees that underwear laying there, she says, oh, he wants me to be his maid. And there's anger and resentment. Now we've talked about this and we've cleared it, but this is what happens when you, you can talk about it. Right. But the energy of her feeling like I, I'm expecting her to be the maid and, and me resenting the fact that, um, he can't leave his underwear on the floor. No, no, no oh, that's, that's not that, what you meant. That's your resentment. That's not my resentment. <laughs> My resentment is being yelled at for just doing what comes naturally to me. <laughs> hmm. We'll talk about that later, dear. The truth is, it's the clearing. Those, that those, does make a difference. The The problem is, is that the fact that we can even talk about it, you know, these small things, a lot of couples, they can't even talk about it because they're so angry about it. They're so hurt. They're so resentful. There's so much bitterness. The small things become the big things. And what they don't understand, here's the point that I think is really okay. important, is that even though the feeling may fade, so she sees my underwear, she gets mad, she feels like she's the maid, but then you know, an hour later, two days later, that feeling has faded. But the energy of the resentment hasn't fit, hasn't faded. Exactly. In other words, it's still ever present. Yes. And it's also collecting more negative energy from other things that are going on in life. Right. All those things where she might interpret it as feeling like the maid get put dumped into that, on that. Put into that bucket. Exactly. And here's the, I guess this is we kind of take this for granted, but let's just say it out loud. Okay. Emotions, feelings are energies. Mm -hmm. And even though we might not be acutely aware of our all of our feelings in one particular moment, the energies of those feelings are still there. Right. So the ecosystem approach when you're starting to uncover yourself and remove those negative energies is really important. It's very important to um, – it, it's like uh, maintaining your equipment or doing um, preventative maintenance on – you know, uh, excuse me. Okay, let's wait a minute. I'll say it um, a, a girl way. Having your nails done, getting your hair done, um, uh, uh, finding a way to buy a new uh, outfit. It, it's it's a, a form of maintenance. That's preventative maintenance? Yes, That's absolutely. That's not what you told me. <laughs> <laughs> I've, okay, heard all now, sorts, now, I've heard all sorts of reasons about that. But anyways, that's another another show. I, I was just going to say that. See, now, now we're, what is it, of like minds. Now now we're of like minds. But you know what, Jason? I, I want you to tell the um, – um, there's one little uh, – another anecdote, anecdote dote here um, that I'd like you to talk about, um, about the, the lady. Yes. Okay. Well, and this is – you know, we both worked with this person, I think. No, actually, it was just me. Just you? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, the, you know, when we heard it, it was it was one of those jaw-dropping things. And this is a great example because it, unless you remove those energies of conflict, they, they, they stay. Even though you don't – you may not – you may numb out from the feeling of them. Right. But the energies of them stay. One woman told us, I don't, I don't have any problem with my husband at all as long as he's not around. <laughs> you know, and – we, you know, we both wanted to giggle, you know, we, we couldn't, couldn't help ourselves. But the truth is, oh my gosh, there's, um, um, that she was dead serious. She was not only dead serious, but she, uh, and, and I mean, it was, it was amazing. She was married to this man for over 50 years and she would find ways to, um, ship him off to here, there and everywhere as long as he wasn't with her, she was great with him. And, and this is a great example how people adapt mm -hmm. to their circumstances as opposed to 
resolve them and clear them. Yes. Yes. You know, we yes. talked about um, um, compromise. Um, we, we hear about, a lot about compromise. Well, you have to compromise in marriage. We hear that all the time. Right. And it we kind of bristle because, you know, the hair on the top of the back of our neck um, stands up. Compromise means you both lose. Compromise mm-hmm. means that you just got to suck it up because you're not going to be happy and, the, and it's the other person not going to be resentment. happy. Resentment. And those energies of resentment mm-hmm. stay. Mm-hmm. And even though you may numb out from mm-hmm. them. They continue to be there. Well, th- there, there's another question that I want to ask you here. Um, Jason, what if only one party is um, uh, doing the ecosystem approach to their life? What, what happens with that? That's most of our clients. Okay. And the truth is, anytime you remove the negative energies from yourself, everything gets better. Yes. Everything gets better. Now, sometimes we've had people um, say, okay, I see. It's time for me to leave. You know, that's in a way getting better. Um, and some, sometimes people see that they're, um, I'm going to use this. At uh, least part of the problem. They're at least part of the problem and that their self-absorption is the thing that's getting in the way. So, um, Jason, what are the um, what are the key points for this segment? Well, it's, the first one is it's difficult to sustain a great sex in a relationship. To sustain great sex in a relationship because over time those negative emotions and energies build up. And that conflicts are energy-based. And if those energies are removed, the conflicts become, um, if those energies are not removed, the conflicts become subconscious and continue to act on the relationship. And compromise does not change the energy or overcome the buildup of negative emotions. Okay, I like all that. So stay tuned, when we come back, we're gonna talk all about all the bad advice <laughs> uh, regarding um, sex and, um, relationships. Uh, and relationships um that couples get and why those um suggestions don't work this is living lighter with jason and i'm patricia with an ecosystem approach to your life you're listening to transformation talk radio Gifted intuitive healer and spiritual teacher, Sarah Luce, brings her unique style to the hit show, Small Steps, Big Breakthrough Radio, on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Tune in each month as Sarah turns reality on end and shows us how to experience expansive results with simple yet powerful steps. Expect an enlightening bend on what you currently believe is possible. For show details and upcoming topics, visit SarahLuce.com. That's S-A-R-A-L-O-O-S.com. To see your life from an angel's perspective, book a personal consultation with Claire Candy Hoff, angelic walk-in angel Ariel at Angel Healing House. Candy provides intuitive counseling, Reiki, and angel readings in person in Los Angeles or nationally and internationally via phone or Skype. She will channel the practical tools you need to transform your life. Call now, 831-277-3716 or visit angelhealinghouse.com. What is a brilliant culture, and how do we create them? Why are they important? Claudette Rowley has created a breakthrough five-step process to help you align your culture with your business strategy for exceptional results. Looking for a culture that drives organizational excellence? Listen to Cultural Brilliance Radio, the second and fourth Friday of each month at 10 a.m. Pacific and 1 p.m. Eastern on Transformation Talk Radio. To learn more or work with Claudette, visit culturalbrilliance.com. The knowledge book currently studied in 39 countries and 15 languages around the world accelerates our evolution, takes us out of depression, offers universal truth, protects us, and makes us stronger, both spiritually and physically. So if you are interested in the knowledge book, visit usa.thenowledgebook.net and tune in to the Knowledge Book Radio with Marge Potasik on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Introducing New Soul Science, an introductory course with Ruby Betty, offering profound wisdom alongside radically simple concepts and techniques that collapse time, allowing instantaneous personal transformation. 
The foundational techniques of this introductory course reveal the profound inner ability each human has to access and fulfill their individual soul script or soul promise. Awakening this ability leads to the mastery of one's destiny. The concepts are totally original, immensely powerful, and completely revolutionary. They ignite an infinite fire within each listener, fueling one's ability to live out their unique soul promise. Are you ready to become more aware and access amazing personal transformation? This course is available now at rubybetty.co. This is Living Lighter Radio with Jason, and I'm Patricia. Today we're talking about sex and the bad advice couples get to sustain their sexual relationship. We use an ecosystem approach to you, which is much different than what you are commonly taught. We see human beings as ecosystems that need to be uncovered instead of programmed. Human potential becomes infinite with our ecosystem approach. So, Jason... What is the bad advice about maintaining a sexual relationship? I know this is a serious topic, but I had so much fun with this. I was just laughing. (laughs) I was rolling around laughing because I Googled it. You know, I Googled, you know, um, sex in a long-term relationship, how to maintain interest in the long-term relationship. And, um, oh my gosh, the stuff was just, to me, it was funny. So, so let me let me share but, some with but, you. But the first one makes me really mad. I, I get that. One of them, one of the ideas was um, do it even if you don't feel like it. Hmm. Oh my gosh! You know, um, that's we talked about this in the very one of the very first shows about happiness, where people think that if you act happy, then you'll be happy. But as intuitives who can see and perceive energy, we know that that's not true. What what happens is when you act happy. You just get better at acting. Exactly. And and we know that people can act sexual. It doesn't necessarily mean that they are sexual. In fact, I would say that oftentimes the acting part, um, then they see it as being real. Yes. And yet they don't want to have sex. I have talked to more, and I'm going to say women about this, than of all ages, um, I, it kind of a. I'm astounded by it, if you must know the truth. It, it, it makes me go, wow. And, um, and I ask them, well, why don't you want to have sex? And they say, I, I don't know. They don't enjoy it. They don't enjoy and it. And they don't know why. And they don't know why. And obviously the, the quick answer is because these negative feelings build up and it covers up those sensory parts of yourself that um, – have access to those feelings. Exactly. So what's the next one, Jason? Okay, so um, this is a broad category, but spice it up. And and this covers lots and lots of things. And, and we're not talking about oregano either, right? No, no we're not talking about <laughs> oregano. We're talking about, um, you know, S&M and um, role-playing and, um, you know, um, um, I, I, I always like to joke about my, um, my Tarzan Im- imitations, you know, not that that's real, <laughs> but people do all sorts of strange things to spice it up. And you know, we'll, we'll talk about why that doesn't work. But um, one of the suggestions was watching porn together. Well, that's usually great for most men, but there's a lot of women who are very offended by it. They're offended by it. But, but even if you're stimulated by it, here's the problem. It doesn't last. Well, and the relationship, the example of the relationship is a woman who's, you know, and this this is really gets in the male psyche, but where um, a woman is it wants it and is very um, um, subordinate to the male out of their desire to have sex that's so strong. Right. Of course, that's the male fantasy that is rarely the, the case. And, and, and the irony is that if you use the ecosystem approach, it's much more likely to happen than not. But without it, if women are like that, for the most part, they're just faking it. That, exactly. It's not true. And, and the truth is uh, faking in a relationship in any place, uh, I mean, it just it doesn't work. You know, here's another one that just, uh, you know, 
Um, it's great information in its way, but Kama Sutra. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm not putting my leg over my head and, and I, I'm not doing it. That just, you know, um, maybe I'm too old. I'm not sure. I, and I realize that it's an energetic practice mm-hmm. and this is what we're talking about, but it's the wrong energy. It's not, the energy of Kama Sutra is not the energy that keeps you from having a great orgasm. And, and right. it's it's usually a distraction. And that's why some of these things just um, um, don't address the real problem, which Here's another one. Cut out the quickies. You know. Um, oh my God. You know, it's not a matter of how, <laughs> how long or short it takes um, to have sex. What's important is the feelings that you have while you're having it. Right. And you can't fake that. Um, but there was one. This was this was. I just put it in there, but it was. They said, "Well, you have to fight fairly." And I. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Does not compute. You can train, you can program people to fight fairly, but the negative emotions that happens because of it doesn't doesn't get go away. Can you say resentment one more time? Yes. So yes. what you do is you you suck it up, you suck up those negative emotions because you're quote unquote fighting fairly, and then um, yes, um, it's not it's not helping. So and here's my favorite um, swap PJs. <laughs> Now, if, now I'm going to tell. Wait a minute. Does my um, <laughs> fanny look big in these? Um, anyway, we'll, we're not going there. <laughs> I'm going to tell a secret about Patricia. <laughs> she uses what I call Alaskan um, lingerie. <laughs> <laughs> so in the middle of winter, it's basically sweats and um, um, you know a long sleeve <laughs> t-shirt, a pair of socks, and a sweatshirt. Absolutely. But you know, we did live. Uh, we used to live in the San Francisco Bay Area, and I'm telling you, that place was cold. Yeah, even in the summertime. You know, and the truth yeah. is, um, um, another secret, you know, um, Carter, Carter's our, our producer. He, uh, I want you to hold your ears. That, but the truth is, there are times that Patricia wears my boxer yeah. shorts. That's right, <laughs> because they're comfortable and airy. Yeah, but, <laughs> but, the, but I guarantee you, it's not for um, to help our sex life. <laughs> In fact, it doesn't. <laughs> so, so, so the reason why – so let's get really clear about what, why these don't work. Okay. The real reason behind um, the blocks to a, a good sexual relationship is this negative energy that is attached to you that you may become numb to, you may become unconscious about. Most people have no idea that it's there. Exactly, because we, work, we live in a programming culture, which is if you have a problem, just do this. They don't right. say, what are your emotions that are creating the problem? They say, just do this. Right. So we never say, well, what are our emotions? We just kind of just go to the next thing. And let's reiterate one more time. Emotions are energies. And what we do, we use our intuition to help you and others get rid of those, remove those negative energies that are emotions. And that's so, the clearing. So, and this is, this is basically the ecosystem approach. And I just want to, you know, talk about this just for a minute, because whether it's sex or marriage or health or weight loss, all the things that we've covered, happiness. Um, exactly. Next week, we're talking about luck. You know, all these are it energies. It always gives away the secrets. Yeah, I know, I know. But the, the truth is, is that these are energies. And if you can remove them, even if you don't feel them, they're there. Exactly. And they're acting upon you. And that's why the ecosystem approach feels like magic to so many people because once you start removing these things, these problems that the people have had are going away. Hence the name Living Lighter. And the ecosystem of approach is where you uncover, you remove these negative energies. Now, I just want to say that, you know, we've created these um, series of radio shows. Every t- every uh, radio show we have on our last segment, we always do clearing. We always right. do removing of these negative energies. You know, make it a point to to tune in every week and listen to us. And more importantly, go to our website at livinglighter.org and sign up for a newsletter. Because every newsletter that we have, we will um, provide some bonus material, which is a form of um, um, clearings right. that you can use for yourself and help you feel better. It's all free. You, This is really, really important. You'll really feel a difference with this. We want to strongly suggest it. And, of course, if you ever want to say anything back to us, you know, talk to us about, uh, 
you know, Jason, you know, you have to pick up your underwear from now on. Send us an email at Jason and Patricia at livinglighter.org. So, Jason, what are the key points um, for this segment? Any advice to maintain a sexual relationship that does not involve removing the negative energies is doomed to fail and is not sustainable. And that, um, um, oh, we, we didn't get a chance to talk about that. We'll talk about affairs in the next one. Yeah, exactly. that's, that's important. It is. But we want to talk about that um, affairs are attractive because negative energies have not built up in an affair relationship. In fact, I'm just going to take a second and all say. All right, go ahead. The reason people ask me this all the time, why do people have affairs? Well, when you find someone to have an affair with, you don't have that buildup of negative energy because you don't have the business of life together. You don't right. have those those things that, that build up, that get resentful, that create resentments and angers and bitterness. And so it's easy. Right. And um, those people that have affairs are often um, – um, the reason those are so much fun is because – or presumably – is because there's no negative energy build up, but they're not sustainable. Because I guarantee you, if you switch to the person you're having an affair with, those energies would build up also. Exactly. So, okay. um, and then constantly removing negative energies is the key to great sex and a great life. Exactly. Just like with the ecosystem approach. So, and um, um, I do have one other thing to say about the uh, the affairs things, but we'll talk about that in the next segment. So stay tuned when we come back. We're going to talk about how to have an amazing orgasm and the straight scoop about this popular topic. This is Living Lighter with Jason and Patricia with an ecosystem approach to your life. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Hi, I'm Steve Kramer of Spirit Fire Radio, and I believe that meditation changes everything. It leads us in the direction of greater well-being, and that's a fact. I struggled with meditation for years. I understood the principles, but I found it hard to incorporate them into my everyday life. Spirit Fire's meditation practice changed that. It's called the Practice of Living Awareness, and it's taught in 14 steps. These are 14 tools that I can use in any moment, on and off the cushion. Steps like smile, flow, and ground of being support my clarity of mind while I'm navigating the ups and downs of modern life. That's why it's called the Practice of Living Awareness. If you'd like to add meditation to your daily experience, the Practice of Living Awareness is free, online, and it's suited for any level of practitioner. Visit spiritfire.com for more information. And be sure to check out Spirit Fire's meditation retreats in Western Massachusetts. It's all there at spiritfire.com. Ignite your inner magic on Grow Your Soul Radio with Jane Matanga. Tune in each month on Transformation Talk Radio as host Jane Matanga explores how to overcome your fears to help you gain the inspiration you need to awaken your path to joy. Learn the way to life mastery and the enlightened path with Grow Your Soul Radio. For more information on Jane Matanga and her work, visit enlightened-path.com. Are you tired of being tired? Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. Did you know the adrenal glands, the workhorse of the body? They are the means by which you position yourself in life for whatever comes your way. Tiny but mighty, producing hormones the body uses to promote energy and vitality. These adrenals determine how you respond to stress and when depleted, the body loses its ability to function powerfully when we need it most. The much needed adrenaline or epinephrine is not available for emergency situations. Cortisone and cortisol, the longer acting anti-stress adrenal hormones, can also become depleted due to the pace of our everyday lives. We overwork and undernutrition our most powerful ally that helps us to live the lives we desire. We are able to determine the optimum function of the adrenals and put your system back in balance. Contact us today to feel powerfully energized at 888-777-4232 or visit us at maryjanemack.com. Have you ever wondered if there's a way to heal the deep, hidden inner issues, wounds, beliefs, and traumas? The journey into spiritual healing engages people in all areas of their lives to heal themselves and others. 
Tune in each month on Transformation Talk Radio as Dr. Jaffe brings conversations of healing of body, mind, and spirit as he merges the excellence of traditional medicine with the beauty of spiritual healing. For more information about Dr. Jaffe, this show, and his work, visit drjaffemd.com. This is Living Lighter Radio with Jason, and I'm Patricia. Today, today, we're talking about sex, and in this segment, we're going to talk about great orgasms. We use an ecosystem approach to you, which is much different than what you are commonly taught. We see human beings as ecosystems that need to be uncovered instead of programmed. Human potential becomes infinite with our ecosystem approach. When we left the last segment... Um, we, um, there was just one other part about uh, having affairs that I wanted to address um, that a lot of people don't, they're not even, I don't know that they're even aware of it. And it really has to do with self-esteem. We, we get asked about this a lot. So this is yes, not, we do. this is we very do. familiar territory for us. So. Um, and um, it's a form of a game, i.e. energy, that's called the thrill of the kill. And um, it, it comes down to where on both sides, male and female, what they do is they go out um, stalking, so to speak. And I'm not talking about um, bad stalking. I'm talking about what they're looking for is a way to, and I'm going to use the word quote with my fingers, a way to get laid. And so they they play this game to see how long it will take um, this guy to seduce this girl into leaving a bar, so to speak, or a girl to um, seduce a guy um, uh, to meet her at a, um, a hotel. And the, you know, okay, that's all fine and dandy. And there could be great orgasms in that. Oh, we, you know, we'll talk about that in a minute. But once it's done, nine chances out of 10, and maybe even more, then it's on to the next for either one or both of them. There's no satisfaction in it. It's a form of neediness. Yes. And just like yes. with any other type of neediness, you can't resolve neediness by uh, addressing the specific neediness uh, behavior. For example, if you're lonely, right. having people around you doesn't resolve loneliness. Exactly. exactly. And if you're needy for attention, you're needing to, to see that you're attractive exactly. to, to the opposite Ex sex. Exactly. You know, having um, affairs or these um, these encounters won't satisfy the neediness. But a neediness for attention right. is an energy exactly that can be clear. Exactly. And and the irony is is that um, when you clear the neediness, the neediness uh, to lose weight, the neediness for attention, the neediness the neediness for to be the best yes um competition the most amazing things happen it it enables you it helps you get exactly what you want now sometimes you figure out oh that's not what i wanted at all exactly but it helps you clear that in energy that negative energy and when you clear negative energy that's a positive thing this neediness acts out like a an addiction yeah. Where the first time is really high and the second time is less right. and the second time is less. Right. And it, it covers a whole myriad of topics. But today we're going to talk about – we're not teasing you. We're talking about orgasms. Right. So um, here's the key to a great orgasm. And it, it doesn't sound like much, but the truth is a great orgasm is a natural effect when you like someone – if there's no negative energy involved, I mean, it's that it, it's that simple. You know, we, we need to have um, um, background, you know, like a good <laughs> shot. Dun, dun, you know, yep. it, it, it does. It sounds like it sounds flat. But the truth is, is that great orgasms happen easily and effortlessly. And if there's something in your way from that, it's negative energy. Right. And no amount of um, um, um Tight porn, leather pants. Tight leather pants, porn, porn watching, um, yes. um, swinging from the rafters, <laughs> uh, um, strange sexual positions. Or going out and playing the game of the thrill of the kill. There's, there's no um, 
um, that won't change the energy. But if you if you can remove that energy, then you have all sorts of options that you can utilize because then it'll be easy. Exactly. And, you know, great organism is about relationships. People don't know how to use energy removal. And so they focus on fantasy and the memory or illusion of a great relationship. You know, one of the fun things I like to do, Patricia and I always go shopping together. So when we're going down the, the grocery checkout line, I'm always in the back unloading the cart and she's in the front. Um, um, you know, usually putting, bagging the groceries. Yeah, bagging the groceries. And I'll say to her, Oh, did you hear about um, so and so is breaking up with so and so or or hey, did you hear the thing about you can have great orgasms if blah, 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 blah. And by the way, this is not done quietly. <laughs> it's not done with uh, what I would call any sort of finesse at all. And of course, everybody looks up. This, uh, this is how I have fun. Yes. <laughs> huh, how to embarrass Patricia. And, mm-hmm. the, and the truth is we, we've, we've read it all, all the, all the headlines. They're just um, – um, they don't have any beef to them because they're all about techniques or, or strange things you can do, but they don't address the root cause, which is a negative energy buildup in a relationship. Right. right. And, and on, if you can get rid of that, that's where the great orgasms come from. Um, you know, even great orgasms with people that, are, that uh, you attribute to affairs and chance encounters are the result of a relationship that doesn't have that negative energy buildup. But if you just keep keep at it, you will. Well, and and you know, I, it just dawned on me, Jason. Um, oftentimes, when you're not, you started having great sex with your partner and and that sort of thing, and then you're not. I would say nine chances out of ten, there's probably a lot of judgment on both sides yes. in that relationship. Blame, competition, exactly. That is which re- are energies, by which, the way, which yes. are energies. That, that people really struggle with, but they don't understand that that's what it is. From our perspective, there's no such thing as falling out of love. No. People don't fall out of love. You have a, um, love is an energy. And if it's no longer there, you become numb to it or it's been covered up with negative emotions. Right. And all you have to do is start, start removing them, start clearing them. Yeah. It's, it sounds almost too simple. Right. You know, the problem is that for most of us, for a lot of the audience that are listening to this, there's probably been a lot that's been built up. And for that, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. Right. You know, I'm sorry that the frame has been wrong all this time for most of us. Mm, yeah. um, so it takes a while to start to remove this stuff so that we can see big changes. But it's it's the way it's the fastest, slow way that you can you can use. Exactly. And, and uh, I want to um, uh, back up for just a minute and go back to the uh, great or- orgasms and the um, grocery line. Um, you know, every week there is. Or, yeah, we don't uh, have great orgasms in the grocery line, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we enjoy speak, shopping. Speak but... <laughs> for yourself. <laughs> By the way, laughter is one of the best things you can do in a relationship. <laughs> Um, I just want to say that in those magazines, they're talking about if you do this, this will happen. If you do that, this will happen. Techniques do not work because techniques are a form of what, Jason? Programming. Exactly. And those programming, that programming doesn't, it's, it's, it's not sustainable. It doesn't last. In fact, it builds up more negative energies. Yes. So. With that said, Jason, um, what are the key points in this um, segment? All the strange positions and fantasies don't last and can't maintain great orgasms. Mm -hmm. And that great orgasms comes from great relationships that consistently remove the negative energies of conflict and difficulties. And that great orgasms are a natural byproduct from a great relationship. I love it. It's almost too simple. It is. It is. So this is the this is a segment we always use to to tell you how to do the clearing because next segment we're going to do some clearing. Right. So here we go. So in your mind's eye, in your imagination, um, set your intention to remove these negative energies when we say and to eliminate. Put a trash can off to the side in your mind's eye. Throw those negative energies into that trash can, and don't worry about the trash can. We'll empty it for you. It's um, um, just put them in there. And don't worry, if we clear something that um, doesn't apply to you, it's not going to hurt you. And please set your attention, intention to help 
um, some anonymous person next to you. Right. If it doesn't apply to you, have it apply to them. So, exactly. So and, we can have a kind of a group thing. Here and, and, and by the way, it really helps when, when there's a lot of um, – uh, people clearing. It's amazing. So the last part of that whole segment there is um, now we want to activate life force energy and life force is the purest energy that we have access to. So you're just going to reverse the process. And as you inhale, you take in to your heart, life force energy. We see it as clear, pure light. So Stay tuned. When we come back, we're going to do some energy removal for a better sexual relationship with your partner. This is Living Lighter with Jason and Patricia with an ecosystem approach to your life. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. A word of caution, if you prefer the status quo and you are not interested in improving every aspect of your life, this book will trigger the shift out of you. The Truth is Funny, Shift Happens is available now. Author Colette Steffen brings the powerful knowledge and life-changing energy and empowerment from the radio airwaves to the pages of her new book. To get your copy in paperback or ebook, visit thetruthisfunny.com today. To find answers to life's questions, you need to look within yourself. Dr. Glenna Rice brings your questionable conversations on Transformation Talk Radio each month. Tune in each month for insight into how you can live up to your full potential. Dr. Glenna is a physical therapist, certified access consciousness, and access body class facilitator. How does it get any better than this? For more information on Dr. Glenna Rice and her work, visit GlennaRice.com. What is holding you back from living the life you are meant to live? Why is it vital to believe in something bigger than yourself? Are you in physical or emotional pain? Tune in monthly to Vibrant Purposeful Living. Awaken the vibrant life within you with Lou Paradise and Dr. Pat on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Lou's passion is to help everyone experience positive solutions for life. Find out more about Lou with Vibrant Purposeful Living at LouParadise.com. Do you believe you are meant to live with more joy, but you're just not sure how to get it? What does the phrase, give me the joy, make you feel? Join me, Lynn Horde, every second and fourth Thursday, 9am Pacific, 12pm Eastern, on the Give Me The Joy Show, as I take you on a journey to peel back the layers so you can take back your joy. To find out more about my work as the Joy Coach, including my popular programs, Joy School and Joy at Work, visit lynnhorde.com. This is Living Lighter Radio with Jason, and I'm Patricia, and today we're talking about great sex for long-term relationships. I'm going to amend that a little bit. We're talking about great sex that you can have with a partner. It doesn't have to be a long-term relationship, a relationship but it is with a, with a partner, and you can, um, as long as you can communicate, this is a wonderful thing, but you have to take care of you first, meaning you have to clear your negative energies. And we're all numb to all of our negative energies. So we're just going to get going and do some clearing here. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. So I direct all my resources in all dimensions to eliminate the anger and resentment that I have about my partner that is interfering with our sex life. Take a take breath. breath. Blow it into the trash can. the fear and hurt that I have that numbs out my sex drive. Take a breath. And I'm going to add something to that and to eliminate the anger that I have about this, that, or the other thing that numbs out my sex drive. Take a breath. One more. And to eliminate all of the judgment that I have about myself. Oh, I'm too fat. Oh, I'm ugly. Oh, I can't. I release and let go all of that judgment 
that I'm holding on to that numbs out my sex drive. Take a breath. And to eliminate the veils and illusions so I can see the issues in my life that affect my relationship and remove them. Take a breath. I know it sounds strange, but the most common thing we hear is, I don't know how I feel. Oh, yeah. And yeah. it's because we've been, we're taught to program ourselves. We're not taught to see how we feel. Right. Right. You know, in fact, our feelings just get in the way. Just do it. Yes. You know? So, um, and to eliminate my fear of removing that numbness from my feelings because of what I might um, um, bring up. Take a breath. And to eliminate my fear that says, if I do start removing negative energies, I won't be able to handle, I won't be able to endure the pain of those negative energies. But the truth is, you can. Take a breath. And to eliminate my stubbornness about anger and resentments, I don't want to clear. Take a breath. And to eliminate my, um, my need to hold on to my anger and resentment for fear that if I let them go, my partner will get away with their bad behavior. Ooh, good one. Take a breath. Get rid of that one. And to eliminate my need to punish my partner with my negative emotions of anger, bitterness, and resentment. Take a breath. And judgment. Take a breath. And to eliminate the false belief that using anger, resentment, and bitterness is my way of controlling my partner's behavior. And controlling my feelings. Take a breath. Here's a really big one. It might not feel like it applies, but it does. And to eliminate the um, my neediness to control the situation so I can make sure that I can remain in control the whole time. Yes. Take a breath. And that leads to, and to eliminate my neediness to control our sex life. Exactly. In order to um, maintain my power in the relationship, which is really toxic for the relationship. Take a breath. You know, um, a lot of women um, are taught that um, uh, to control how the sex life is um, and how often it happens and all of that sort of thing is their way of maintaining power. And the truth is that isn't what it does. It just creates resentments and lack of communication. And that doesn't serve anything. So I release and let go those false beliefs and those old rules and programmings that I learned from possibly all of the women in my family about sex. Take a breath. And to eliminate the false belief that I need to have leverage, power, and control when the truth is those are the result of being programmed. Well, take a breath. And with that, I'm going to ask the question, how can you have leverage, power, and control and have a great orgasm. I don't know. It's kind of con conflicting to me because you're thinking about one thing when you're not paying attention to what's happening. And to eliminate my fear that I can't trust ah. that I'll have any power in the relationship unless I use sex to get it. Ooh, take a breath. Take a breath. And I'm going to say this and to eliminate the false belief that sex – um, and, 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 uh, oh, it just went right out the window. Um, that, um, that sex is my way toward to power. That sex is my way to power. Thank you, Jason. When the truth is that is not the truth. You know, there was a great book out. I just, I just have to say this. Um, 
uh, years ago. It was um, even cowgirls get the blues. And um, there was a line in the in the movie about the use of the vaginal wrench. And that's exactly what they were talking about. Women's power um, in a sexual relationship. And the truth is that's not the truth at all. And I'll, I'm going to make a statement, but I'll do it with the clearing. And okay. to eliminate the veils and illusions so I can see that the way to power is removing negative energies and communication. Yes. Take a breath. Oh, that, that, sorry, that one, that makes me happy because that is the truth. That is absolutely the truth. So, and to eliminate, oh, here's a good one. Um, my anger and my need for revenge that I have with my partner that keeps me and our relationship stuck. Take a breath. Here's a good one. And to elim eliminate the illusion that the grass is greener on the other side and I can have better sex with someone else. I release and let go of that false belief and all of the fear that keeps, that promotes that for me. Take a breath. And to eliminate my neediness for attention, for love that... Um, um, I may try and get from having affairs or sex with other people um, outside of my relationship, which won't work, and to eliminate the veils and illusions so I can see that needy, that 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 approach does not work and is not sustainable. Take a breath. You know, we only addressed this once in the show today, but this is sort of what it's all about. And to eliminate the blocks that are keeping me and my partner from communication, communication and compassion and love. Take a breath. The barrier and to eliminate the barriers to goodwill toward my partner. Right. Take a breath. Yeah, it's a good one. And, and for, for this section, um, my neediness to spice up my sex life with strategies and techniques <laughs> that are appealing, but not sustainable. Take a breath especially when you've gained 10 pounds and you're trying to put on those leather pants. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's activate some life force energy here, Jason. <laughs> um, so I direct all my resources in all dimensions to activate life force energy so I can love myself enough to clear the negative energies in my life. Take a breath. and to activate life force so I can trust that I can have a positive relationship with my partner if I remove the negative energies, old programmings and rules. Take a breath. And last, so I can trust that removing the negative energies will make my life better. Take, Take a, a breath. breath. So, Jason, what are we going to talk about next week? We're talking about luck. Is it superstition or can it be created? Hmm. That's a good one. Yes, exactly. Um, and um, by the way, luck, uh, uh, there's so many people that have luck. Um, they, they don't even know it. So if you liked your experience with us today, mark your calendar. The Living Lighter Radio is every week, Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific and 4 p.m. Eastern Time. If you can't listen at that time, our show is recorded, and you can go to our website, www.livinglighter.org, and look for the radio tab. We'd love to hear your comments, so send us a note on our email address, Jason and Patricia at livinglighter.org. If you got a benefit today or had some fun, go like us on Facebook. We're at livinglighter.org. We'll connect next week, Monday, at 1 p.m. Pacific and 4 p.m. Eastern Time. This is Transformation Talk Radio. Wishing you a lifetime of living lighter. Bye, everyone. Thank you for listening to Living Lighter Radio with Jason and Patricia. I'm Patricia. We have an ecosystem approach to your life. 
Tune in weekly as we discuss what's truly holding you back. We offer you the tools you need to reach your goals and at the same time be living lighter. For more information, visit our website at www.livinglighter.org.